Hello, 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 it's Kathy Bedell at MyStampingSpot.com coming to you today with Make It Monday. How are you all? <sighs> okay, I thought we would work with Silly Goose today. I really just thought this was so cute. I love the words. Um, a Silly Goose told me it's your birthday. This Silly Goose forgot. you got a friend in me, Goosebumps. Look at their fist pumping. Uh, sending a gaggle of good wishes. I'm here for you. Sending a big honking thanks. Little grass image. I just thought this was so cute. I brought over the stylish shape dies because I'm thinking these geese. Oh, that's going to be too small. So we might need to. I, I wanted to do him. I wanted to do goosebumps. Um, so if I do a die cut, thanks, maybe. Unless I just cut a piece. Although, let me see if the square will fit. Oh, uh, well. Square on the diagonal will fit, maybe. Maybe we'll use that one. Well, we'll get back to that. Hope you all had a great weekend. Hey, Kathy Bovey, how are you? So then I have, in addition to that, I have... Um, some white cardstock, some Daffodil Delight, and a piece of Bobby Blue, because I was going to use this because it had the goose in it. This is the Day at the Farm 12x12 DSP. This is free with a $50 purchase. If you want to see all the prints, I'll give you a quick preview, but if you want to see all the prints, refer to my video on Saturday where I showcased it all um, and showed you all of it in detail. All right, so I'm going to put this DSP aside. And, sorry, Janelle. Janelle's cleaning it and adding to her pile. Um, so I thought I would do a white card base. And I thought I would do kind of a fun fold here. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to cut at four and a quarter. Hey, Linda, how are you? Linda, I got your email yesterday. I'm sorry I haven't responded yet. Um, hello, Missouri. Um, I will get back to you later today, I promise. It could be the morning because I do have a stamp club tonight. So, but yes. Okay. I actually didn't even read it all, Linda. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm scoring at five and a half. And then, uh, what's half of five and a half? Two and a half. Two, five and a half. Yeah. So it would be uh, one, two. Yeah, two and three quarters. There we go. So I scored it five and a half, and I'm scoring it two and three quarters. We're going to just make this a little, I folded it accordion style. And we're going to put that goose on here. Okay. Now, let me put that white aside. We don't need that. I didn't pre-plan this. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. I do know. I'm thinking I want that on there. And the question is, do I want to double mount it? I'm thinking I might. There we go. Okay. So if we know that this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, then I want to do Bobby Blue at, let's see here, two and three quarters. I'm going to go uh, two and five eighths. I'm going to write this down. So that when I put all these on my blog, you can have them. So, Bobby Blue is going to be four and one eighth by two and five eighths, which is going to make the Daffodil Delight four by two and one half. So, two and five eighths. Uh, and we want to do four and one eighth. 
And I think that's going to get us what we need. Let's see. It is. Okay. Then we're going to cut the Daffodil Delight at four. By two and a half. And that will layer on that. And then we need to layer this piece as well. So this we know is uh, five and a half. So we are going to do this at, so the bami is going to be five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And that will make the daffodil four by so if this is four this is five and three eighths it'll be one eighth which is a quarter by five and one quarter I can do hard things <laughs> so the bobby blue is not that Four and one eighth by five and three eighths. This is going to be one heavily layered card. Let's make sure that measures right before we cut the daffodil. That looks about right. And then the daffodil will be. Five and a quarter by four. The one eighth, they're tricky, you know. Let's make sure that line's right. Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay, so then we're going to come back to our DSP. And that we are going to do for the skinny front side. We will do uh, four by because it's going to be one eighth smaller. Four by two and one quarter. Does that make sense? Sometimes I need to look at my piece. No. Nope. Two and a half, two and one half, and then for the bigger piece, we are going to need it to be three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, I believe. Oh, actually, we don't need a piece for the inside. We're going to cut white inside, so actually, that would be the white. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay, so the trickiest thing here is our orientation. We want to make sure that our print goes up and down when we cut. So we want to do the two and a half first. So that we have, anybody ever cut the DSP and realize they had it turned in the wrong direction? Like all the time? How much DSP have you wasted doing that? Okay, here we go. Now let me cut this one last white piece, which is going to be three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Five and one eighth. You didn't know you were getting a math lesson today, did you? Three and seven eighths. All right, let's try to assemble this and see what happens. See if we got it right. I'm going to start with the inside first. If I can find my adhesive, here it is. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Betty, happy Monday. Marsha, thanks for being here. Uh, yes, you know why I'm on portrait? Because most people watch on their phone or on social media. And so if I flip the phone the other way, they don't get the whole orientation. At least that's what I have been told. So, you're lucky you're watching on the big screen. OK, 
Carol, how are you? Mary Hubbard, how are you? Rainy in California, huh? Okay. So I'm layering the white on the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to lay layer the Daffodil Delight on the Bobby Blue. This is going to be a heavy card. This is not good with the post postage rate going up. <laughs> and then this is going to go on the inside of our card base. Like this. And I kind of wish I had waited to adhere that white piece because I would like to stamp a little something in here. So hopefully I don't mess that up. Okay, let's do the DSP. Isn't that cute, that chicken wire on the back? On the Daffodil Delight. Oh, and it's wrong. I did it wrong. Okay. So this is not right. This should be four and one eighth. That's not right. I have myself mixed up. Up here, four and one eighth by two and a half. So I need to cut that real quick. And what I was just talking about with all the miscuts. <laughs> four and one eighth by two and a half. All right, let's hope this is accurate. Put this piece aside. And this looks accurate. Gosh. That is not accurate. Hold on. Hold the phone. Something's wrong. That is not accurate. I guess I don't do math well, huh? Okay, the blue is accurate. I think my DSP is cut wrong. This is the Daffodil Delight that I thought was wrong. That is actually accurate. So that is four by two and a half. So my DSP needs to be two and one eighth, I think. I must have done, I did two and a half. So two and three eighths. So the DSP is two and three eighths. And did I get this right? Two and three eighths <clears throat> by three and seven eighths. Can you make heads or tails of that? <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right when I write the directions up for you later. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. And I'm going to put that on the bobby blue. And then we'll put the bobby blue on the front flap. And then we'll get the stamp. So there's our card base. Pretty much set. A little painful, but it's done. Oh, I gotta get a frayed edge. I need a new cutter. New cutting blade, apparently. It's all right. I'm gonna free that up there. There we go. Okay. Woo! All right. I have some scrap weight here. Actually, I'm gonna pull a little smaller because if it's not three inches, it does not fit in my mini embossing machine. So I'm cutting a piece that's three inches wide. Hey, Betty, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. Joel brought me a new blade. I'm not going to change it yet because hopefully we are done cutting. I am bringing over my new handy dandy fancy boho blue mini embossing machine. I hope they bring this in a big machine someday. I call it the Baby Boss. It comes with the base plate, number one. And it comes with two of the clear plates. Everything gets sandwiched in between clear plates. And then it also comes with embossing plates, should you need them. You don't need them now. 
All right. I really like these guys. Goose bumps, like fist bumping. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to stamp them in black. And, oh, but now that I say that, I can't layer this at all. So I'm changing it up. I'm doing the thanks. Oh, the happy birthday would be cute too, wouldn't he? I'm looking to see. I want to try to layer in both blue and yellow. But I think perhaps this thanks is going to be the one. So we're using the thanks. Because as you can tell, I didn't pre plan it. I just went with it. All right. And so uh, sending a big honking thanks will be the greeting. So let's see what fits that. I don't know if this. Sorry, sorry. Sending a big honking thanks. Where are you? That's it. Don't know if that's going to fit. So, I'm going to stamp it and then cut it because I'm not exactly sure what's going to fit. Let's try to save time by cutting and stamping all at once. But it's a new set, so I have to peel my backing off. Whoops. There we go. I just have some Memento. It is my black ink of choice. You also could use stays on. <clears throat> stamp him there. And I'm also going to stamp my greeting because maybe we can do one pass through the machine with any luck. I'm going to stamp it this way. I try to put it on an angle. I have a trick for you. Did you know... Did you know that when you have a long die like this, if you put it straight through, it'll kind of curl it. So if you put it through on an angle, it'll stay nice and flat. That helps to preserve your dies. Just a little tidbit for you. Okay, I'm going to use, I think this one's too small. That one's definitely too small. All right, so I'm going to use this and don't know, I think I'm going to try to make this work. I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I can make this work. I am going to use the sticky note trick. I assume you all know the sticky note trick. which is just put a sticky note across it to hold it. And I'm going to do the same with this one. This is unusual. I don't typically cut live. I usually have everything pre-cut. But I was not prepared enough today. So. so you have to kind of sit through this boring part. I'm sorry. All right. But you do get to see the boho blue machine in action. Oh, here's another hint. If you're having trouble getting it through, stagger your plates when they go in. If they are even, they resist too much. And you'll notice that straight die I put on an angle so that as it goes through the machine, it won't warp. Good morning, Judy. How are you? Well, thank you. Okay, I'm leaving this open because I think we're going to die cut some solid. There's that little thanks. Oh, you haven't seen this machine. There you go. So this is the smaller version. We also have a bigger version. Okay, let's see. What do we think? I think that's usable. I'm going to go with it. 
It's a little small, but I am going to use it. Now, I'm going to put these back on. I, I use a magnetic sheet for these. They don't come with the paper, but I like to use them, and I put them right back in the envelope. All right, let's see. That's not wide enough. I think that's wide enough. So I'm going to put a liner. Oh, I'm going to need more than one. I'm going to put a liner. I'm going to move this over and move my circle over like that. So I can do two at once. And again, even though my paper is straight, I'm going to put my straight edge piece at an angle. And these are going to be just to kind of line my words and my goose. Hey, KB. Glad to have you here. Okay, I'm going to close this up because I think I am done with it. It's Could You Relate, KB. You missed me. Oh, if you've never seen this, it's Could You Relate. You missed me making all my mistakes on my measurements for the card base. So I just buy these off of Amazon. They're super thin. You just buy the thinnest ones. I think they're made by a company called Marietta. And then you can store them right in your folder because the, adhe the paper with the adhesive... You know, these dies come stuck to a piece of paper with adhesive, and the adhesive wears off after a while, and they get to be a big jumbo mess. And this way they stay a little neater. I wanted to show you, with these particular dies, these little stylish shaped dies, you get the stitching on the piece that I want to use, but I also get the stitching on the negative. So if I wanted an outline of this, I could have placed this so that I could use the negative as well. In other words, you could stamp a greeting here and pop that over it. Same thing with the circle. See how the circle has the negative stitching to it? Hopefully you can see that. So that it makes both sides usable. I didn't plan my project that way, but you certainly could. All right, now we're just going to mount these. This is much bigger, but that's okay. I like it anyway. I'm trying to magnetic vent covers to put you on your dies and just lay it down size. Oh, I've heard of people using that. I'm not going to lie. I have gone to Home Depot in search of them and um, didn't actually find them. I didn't ask anybody. I didn't search that hard. Okay. Now my plan is to pop him on here. So I only want to add adhesive like from his bill over. But first, let's color him in a little bit. Let's see, let's see, how about, I think I'm going to use a dark mango melody, I have a piece of scrap here for his beak, and I think I want a little more orangey than that, so I guess we'll go with pumpkin pie, I have the light pumpkin, and I have the dark pumpkin, let's see which we like better. That machine is called the Stamp Cut N, as in like N apostrophe, emboss machine. This is the mini one. There is a uh, large one that has a bigger cutting surface for all our dyes. The blue, they all come in white. The Boho Blue is only if you sign up to be a demonstrator during celebration, you can get the Boho Blue one for free kind of cool. So if you haven't seen it, signing up dur during celebration is great. And I have to add, you don't have to do what I do to sign up. You can get a 20% discount. Um, and you can get...
So you can get the Boho Blue Machine, it's the mini one, plus $175 worth of product for $129. Kind of a no-brainer. You can also pick the white mini machine if you want. Or your third option is you can pick $175 worth of product for $99 and skip the machine. So you pay $99 and get $175 worth. Or you could pay $129 and get $175 worth plus the mini stamp and cut machine. So that's like getting this at almost 50% off if you decide to do that option. And it's great. You never are pressured to sell. You can leave any time you want. Of course, there are quarterly minimums. You have to spend $300 retail. Um, but if you minus the 20%, that's $240. That's $80 a month if you find yourself spending that much money. However, you can sign up, get all the goodies for free, join my team. For, you have three months to make that $300. If you don't do it, nothing happens. You just drop off. You get all your freebies, all your goodies. I take care of you as part of being on my team. You get a free class every month. We do some events. Um, and of course, if you wanted to start a business, I'll help you with that. But it's really kind of a no-brainer, to be quite honest with you. All right, so I did the dark pumpkin pie for his feet and his beak. And I think I'm going to do this banner in a very light color. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, that's Daffodil Delight. That's not what I want. I want the Mango Melody. Interesting. Joelle, we're missing a Mango Melody waffle. Okay, so I wanted my Mango Melody spot is missing the light Mango Melody. So I have a dark and light set yellow. So I guess I'll use the light Daffodil Delight. That's right, Joelle. I'll find it later. Are you sure? Yeah, thank you. These markers are great. I typically say color with this end. This is uh, more for blending, but because I'm not this brush in, because I'm only using one color, I am going to use my harder tip end, not my blend end. Oh, look, she found it. Light? Yep. She did say light. Yep. Let's see what this one looks like. I still think I'll go with, thank you, Joelle. Yeah. I still think I'll go with the light Daffodil Delight. And we'll just color in this little banner just to give it a little color. Now, if you use blend, you have to make sure you use the Memento. Uh, blends are alcohol-based. Memento is water-based. Opposites attract. If you were to have used stays on here, stays on is alcohol, the black ink would have smeared all over the place as I colored. So there you go. All right, I said from the beak over was what I wanted to put adhesive on. Like this. I'm kind of, well, I should do it in the center. Maybe I'll do it in the center and see if there's anything little I can stamp here extraneously so that it's centered to the card front. How cute is he? Look at what the little goose in the background. I'm going to pop this guy up on dimensionals, my little greeting. And put this off to the side like this. Uh, okay. So if I'm putting it off to the side, I need to move that dimensional. Same reason. We don't want it to stick. We don't want it to stick to the inside of the card. Now let's go back here. Sending a big honk and thanks. I'm going to stamp that in here. Oh, I put that on the front. Let's see. I guess that's it. I guess we'll just leave it at that. I could have put sending a big honk and thanks on the inside if I wanted to. 
But I like that banner. It kind of takes up some of the extraneous. Let's add a couple gems. I think I'm going to add these. These are the... Oh, wait a minute. These are the... Nope, that's not those. I think I'm going to add the flat pearls. The adhesive back flat, flat sequins pearls. What are they called? Flat adhesive back pearls. That's what they're called. And because we have a lot of empty space up here, I'm going to use the really large ones. They're very iridescent. Like this. They kind of look like eggs. They're kind of the shape of eggs. <laughs> they're like a big goose egg. And then I am going to put one over here. Like that. There we go. What do you think? Let's make it Monday. There we go. I will put all the dimensions to this card online. And uh, so Silly Goose is in the new January to April mini catalog. And um, at the top of this post, I have links for the Valentine's Day class. You can check it out. You make all these cards. Plus, you get $30 worth of product. You get uh, the ribbons. You get a half pack of sequins. You get a half pack of country DSP and a half pack of the gingham DSP. Plus, you get these three giveaways and they come with the candy all the information is at that link and these are the stamp club by mail cards again all the information is in the link above everything comes cut die cut this is dsp so all you need is an ink pad and you can use black ink for any one of these cards you don't have to use the ink colors i chose you get the ribbons Everything. Everything comes embossed, cut. It's a great deal. The links are at the top. That also comes with $25 worth of product. And there we go. All right. I will see you tomorrow for 10 Minute Tuesday. Thanks for being here today, girls. And uh, if you have any questions on that machine or how to get that machine, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Bye.